Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here, back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able to inspire someone to start their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're going to go ahead and be getting into um, what's on my watch list that I'm still very bullish about. And we'll be getting into all of that right after this. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into what's still on my watch list. And so I took a couple screenshots uh, just for uh, aesthetic purposes. Um, I wanted to make sure that um, we didn't have a whole bunch of uh, movement going on while I was trying to explain these stocks. And so the first stock we have on our watch list is Hylion, um, which is in that EV uh, sector which is electric vehicle sector and we are pretty bullish on this company um, I know that in the last uh, couple of months it's gained about six dollars um, since I first saw the company um, unfortunately I still haven't got in on it um, because I went ahead and invested in workhorse group but uh, in the near future we'll be uh, getting into Hylion and um, we'll hopefully we'll see this stock start to take over now what uh, does Hylion specialize in? Well, they deal with uh, electric vehicles for uh, diesels and in particular they have a couple of diesels already on the road that are doing very well and so this to me uh, seems like a future move by a lot of different companies to be more efficient and with the way that um, we are super serious about global warming and everything I see uh, it going in this direction um, just look at Tesla and the success of Tesla over the last 10 years. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And I see um, Hylion specializing in that commercial transportation. So moving on, we have Rocket Companies, which we really, 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 really want to get in on. Um, we just haven't had the chance to do so yet. Um, so Rocket Companies right now, it's at $21.37. Uh, and we believe in this company. Um, they do insurance, they have a mortgage, um, you know, just all kinds of stuff that is under this one uh, entity. And I truly believe that this is going to take off, um, maybe get to like $50 a share is what I'm thinking um, within the first year, year and a half. Um, so I'd love to see where this uh, company goes, but um, it is a spec play because we don't have enough data on them yet. but. Um, it's definitely a company I'm excited about. The next company we have is New Residential Investment. And I want to get probably about uh, $200 worth of this company. Um, I see some growth for them. They are a REIT. And so we love REITs. We've talked about REITs before. Um, one of the requirements to be a REIT is that you have to pay like 95% of the payouts in uh, dividends. And so we are... Um, excited for this company we think that they will grow in the near future and so I think it's a great opportunity to go ahead and get in on them um, I had seen them at around I'd seen uh, some investors got in around like $12 on this company and so they're down about $4 right now um, but uh, when I started putting them on my watch list they were at $7 so they've already had some uh, nice growth um, or rebound since uh, I had them on my watch list moving on we have stamps.com which um, as you can see is down hundred and fourteen dollars and ten cents now I've talked about stamps.com in one of my other videos and how I totally missed out on the opportunity to go ahead and get in on this company and I don't think that they'll be getting down to hundred fifty dollar uh, share price um, I only see them going up from here. They've done excellent over the past year. And um, it's down $114, which is about a 37 or 36.5% dip, which is an awesome time to go ahead and buy that dip if you believe in the company. So it might be something you want to check out and put on your watch list. Um, but if not, there's more companies on this list. Um, next up, we have UPS which is $165 right now. And over the past year, they've gained $41. Fun story, during the tank or the uh, 
the shutdown, the beginning of the shutdown back in March, I saw UPS for $120, wanted to get in, did not get in, and now they're doing excellent again. Um, UPS, I feel like, is a company that's always going to be around, like, you know, FedEx and Amazon. These companies, they are essential in a year, in the year 2020, these companies are essential to, um, you know, what we do as Americans. We we always have packages coming out. We always need our mail. So um, they'll be around for a long time. I see nothing but growth for this company. Um, next up, we have American Express. I know a lot of people are really into MasterCard and Visa, and I like those uh, companies as well. But um, to me, they're just too expensive to really uh, fully invest in um, for what they are. Um, you're probably saying right now, Mike, you've invested in companies that are 500 to almost $2,000 a share. And yes, that's true, but I believed in those companies in a different, like, I believed the value of those companies at the time. I feel like MasterCard and Visa may be overvalued. They may not be overvalued. I have no proof of either one. So I would need to do more research on them. But American Express, I really, really like american express um so and i aspire to get one of their cards one day my credit's just not good enough i'm at like 737 right now so hopefully uh by next year we'll have an american express card um so as you can see from the past three months they have gained 19 dollars and 13 cents um which is about a 19 percent return so they're doing absolutely phenomenal i believe i saw american express at I want to say $80 a share um, a couple months ago. So they've gained some uh, some weight since uh, the last couple of months. Moving on, we have Lululemon, which is a company I have raved about in a couple videos. Um, I still feel the same exact way about them. Um, as you can see, they're starting to see steady growth and they've only lost about $5 in the past month. Um, still a company I truly believe in and you know, Canadian stocks, you, they're just built different. You, it's almost like you can't go wrong with Canadian stocks. I haven't seen a Canadian stock um, pretty much for the most part that I, I didn't like so far. So um, I might see if I can get it at a lower price, but I might just go ahead when I have the money, I might just go ahead and buy Lululemon at the price it is because we do believe in the company. Um, we like what they stand for and um, we'll see how they do going forward. Um, next up, we have CNI or Canadian National Railway. Um, I think of this as like uh, Canadian, like uh, I want to say Norfolk Southern that we have here in the U.S. Um, I can I would uh, draw the comparison between the two. I think they're both super reliable um, and awesome companies, and I would like to get in on both of them. Um, I haven't gotten in on either of them but that is the plan in the near future. And while they're only $100 per share, I'd really like to get in on Canadian uh, National Railway. So moving on, we have Clorox, which we actually have one share of Clorox, I believe in my Weeble portfolio. Um, but as you can see, it is down to $35.80, which is, I believe I bought my uh, Clorox at $200 a share. So um, this is an opportunity to go ahead and get in um, at $200 a share approximately um, because Clorox is going to continue to grow um, they've been around for a long time they've had nothing but consistent growth and you know you might want to check them out moving on we have zoom which is my biggest regret um, of, or one of my biggest regrets as far as not being able to buy this company when it was $70 a share I saw it at $70 a share did not get it probably two weeks later it was $150 a share still didn't get it because I was buying companies like Amazon Tesla Google you know solid companies but I wasn't getting in on this one and so with that we're it's up to $432 and 94 cents it got as high as uh, like $550 I believe but it's down about $55 um, in the past month um, so if Zoom continues to get the uh, same, you know, 
uh, use that it has right now, I believe that they will continue to do well. That's what I'm actually worried about uh, with Zoom is that when the pandemic settles and everything is able to go back to normal, how many people are still going to use Zoom? Now, I feel like Zoom will be a part of uh, a lot of different school uh, universities and stuff like that. That'll be a part of their lives um, from an interactive level. But uh, I, you know, I think that numbers will decline for Zoom. And also, I think that with that, the, the share price will start to tank. And so that's why I've been kind of iffy on if I want to go ahead and get in on Zoom. But we'll see what happens with Zoom in the near future. Um, next company is Intel, which is the rival of AMD, um, which is another company we really like. But uh, Intel, uh, super solid company, been around for a long time, and uh, they've just been pretty consistent. But they have a rival, as I said, in AMD, and so um, they are down $7 over the past month. Um, but I think this is an opportunity to go ahead and buy if uh, you wanted to get in or you believe in Intel. Next company we're talking about is uh, Virgin Galactic Holdings or uh, SPCE. And we have seen this company for a long time. Um, I think we started looking at it when it was about $13 a share and it started to grow. Um, so it's awesome that, that, that that's going on. But um, we still haven't bought any shares of Virgin Galactic Holdings because we've been prioritizing other stocks. But if it's something you want to look at as a spec play, um, go ahead and put it on your, your watch list so you can, um, you know, do some research and see if this is something you'd like to be a part of. Moving on, we have JD.com, which is another uh, Chinese stock um, that's doing really well. We saw it at $40 a share. Um, and uh, shout out to Chicken Genius because he's the one that put us on to this company. But we did not get in on the company and it's 1x in that time. And so today it's down $6, but uh, they've been doing pretty well right now. So um, here's another company for you. Go ahead and put on your watch list. And then we have EA, EA Sports, get in the game. Okay, so um, EA, what what do I need to say about EA? I mean, they've been around for a really long time. They've been putting out sports video games forever. Um, everybody's always pre-ordering their games, whether they're good or bad. Um, and whether they're good or bad is up to you know people's opinion. Um, you talk to one person, they're gonna say it's trash. Another person, they're gonna say it's awesome. So um, I think they're always gonna have some kind of uh, production as long as they're around. And so they're down about $25 right now um, or about 17%. Um, so I think it's an opportunity to go ahead and buy if you wanna get in. Um, I'm definitely thinking about getting in on EA, um, but we will see um, in the near future. I think they also, um, don't quote me on this, but I think they also have like this huge online gaming thing where like they have a gaming tournament and they have a champion and stuff like that so i'm sure that's bringing in a lot of uh money as well because online sports uh, has really taken off and it's like you like legit get signed to teams now so i think that's awesome um moving on we have papa john's which we've talked about papa john's we wanted to go ahead and get in on papa john's it was down to 40 dollars or 50 dollars when we saw it um but now it's at 78.79 and that means that it's lost $19.27 since the last time we talked about it, um, which is about almost a 20% loss. So another opportunity to go ahead and get in on a pizza joint besides Domino's um, if you'd like to do so. Um, now you're probably gonna think I'm absolutely crazy for having this on my list, but this is Booking Holdings. Um, this is one of the companies I really, really, really want to go ahead and get in on um, I've talked about them in a previous video uh, they hold like almost every vacation booking uh, entity that you could possibly have and um, they've done absolutely phenomenal they have a record that is super consistent um, as far as the growth goes um, 
they don't provide a dividend because they're so large um, but who cares when you're making absolute gains on a consistent basis um, when I saw them they were $1,400 um, I think they got down to like $1,300 I didn't have the $1,400 to go ahead and invest in them at the time so unfortunately I did not get in and now they're almost up to $2,100 so that's a pretty big uh, regret for me, but um, we definitely still want to get in on them. We believe in them. Um, we might wait and see if they give us a more manageable price to go ahead and get in. But if not, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, pull the trigger on this company because we truly believe that they will continue to grow. Moving on, we have Tencent, which is another Chinese stock. I'm shouting out a lot of Chinese stocks today. so. Shout out to Chinese stocks. Um, I haven't done enough research on this company, but I've watched it grow over the last year. As you can see, it's almost 1x over the last year. Um, and it's been in my watch list since the beginning of the year. Um, but I haven't done enough research to truly give any kind of mini analysis on them. So I won't try to do that. Um, we have Discover, which is another company that we absolutely love. Shout out to Discover. I'll be doing a credit card video about my favorite credit cards. Um, and a hint is that Discover will be in that video. Um, so we'll be talking about that probably very soon. I'm probably gonna go ahead and record that video this week. But um, as you can see, Discover Financial is at $78.21. So they are up $10 today. So when I saw them, they were about $60 and you know, they've gained about $11, almost $11 today. So um, they're doing some uh, fantastic growth today, but this is a company we see doing very well. And these are my um, two alternate options for having Visa and MasterCard is getting in on American Express and Discover um, because I think they are two really solid companies as well. And they're not, you know, at that, uh, very high price of $300 per share and so yeah then we have General Mills people are still eating cereal uh, people are always gonna eat cereal um, and General Mills is at the forefront of that um, now the whole breakfast uh, is the most important meal of the day movement was started by General Mills uh, in the sense that um, it's not something that was particularly true, but it was a it was a pitch to make people eat more cereal. And so they've done that um, consistently over the last, I don't know how many years. And so um, shout out to them. They have an awesome dividend yield of about 3.5%. Um, so I think they're just a solid company that I'm planning on getting in on. Um, I will be doing some more research though um, in the near future. Next, we have Wheat and Precious Metals, and I actually have a funny story about Wheat and Precious Metals. Um, my parents actually um, got in on Wheat and Precious Metals when it was just Silver Wheaton, um, and they got in, I can't remember, for like a dollar or something like that. And, you know, it's something <laughs> my, uh, my stepdad still gives my mom a lot of grief for because, um, my stepdad is the one that suggested Wheaton Precious Metals and my mom made a decision to uh, sell the shares and buy into Jamba Juice. And then Jamba Juice, I don't even believe it's a stock anymore. Um, so that didn't go very well for them. But this is why we buy and hold. Um, it's another valuable lesson. Um, and with that said, I definitely wanna get in on this company, so. Next is TripAdvisor. You know how I feel about travel as I talked about booking holdings and that's why I'm going ahead and gonna be getting in on this company uh, eventually. Uh, it's down almost $9 in the past year, which is an opportunity for me to see some uh, growth as it starts to rebound and the uh, economy starts to rebound. So we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, next company is Teladoc, which is a company I truly believe in. I've talked about it. In another video, Teladoc Health. Um, I think this is the future, and um, the fact that it's down forty-one dollars and sixty-seven cents for about a nineteen percent dip 
is absolutely awesome. Definitely want to go ahead and get in on this company um, in the near future. And then we have Pinterest, which I did not get in on when it was $19 a share. And I should have went ahead and did that. Um, but again, I was prioritizing companies I felt were more solid. And as you can see, it is almost 2 x over the last year. So I paid the price for not going ahead and buying a couple shares. Um, but we still have a chance to go ahead and get in on it if we truly believe in all that they're doing. And Pinterest is one of those things that I think will be around for a long time. So um, everybody loves it. Moving on. We have AMD. I did not expect this video to be over 25 minutes long, so I do apologize for that. But AMD is the rival of Intel. Enough said about that. They're on the rise. Um, they had a crappy day today, but they'll be back. Moving on, we have NVR, which is the last stock. Yeah, is the last stock we'll be talking about. So I'm glad it, we're getting to it because I've made this video pretty long unexpectedly. And um, over the last year, they are up $700. When I saw NVR, I was like, man, let me put this on my watch list. Let me see what happens. I saw what happens. It was up. It was already at like $3,300 or $3,400. And so um, they deal with like real estate um, on the East Coast. And I just did not have $3,400 to shovel into this stock. But as you can see, it has grown almost or 19% this year, um, which is, you know, almost $700 in growth. So we missed out on that. I don't think I can buy it at $4,000 a share, um, but it's nice to have on the watch list and see how it continues to grow. Um, if there's an opportunity where it starts to dip drastically, I'll look into the balance sheet and the financials and see what's going on and then make a decision on whether I wanna spend that kind of money on this company, which I probably won't if it's dipping that poorly, but we'll see. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the um, stocks that I revealed on this list. If you wouldn't mind going ahead and smashing that like button and hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already and hitting that notification bell if you want to go ahead and be a part of the journey and never miss a video that I post. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and God bless.